in Palaboro where I come from, um, mentors are, are very rare. People that that uh, that care about your progress, that want to see you develop and grow. Um, I was fortunate enough to have people in the town that played that role for me. Um, and so I've always had a responsibility to, to, to give back to my community. I was adamant and I was stern about this not being a project that should be perceived as a Let's Save Africa project. Our people should not be perceived as, as purely just being poor people who, who may be perceived as being incapable. Um, but I think we're vibrant people. We're people with, with given opportunity we have some amazing skills and abilities. Business and, and that sensitivity and the sharing mentality and the bridge and two-way sharing, uh, two-way street, if those things were fused and put together, I think it would change uh, the, the way that development projects are done and in result change the impact that not only it would have on the ground, but also on the people that are working with it. And the wonders of this project is that maybe we will come back and we won't be able to account with numbers and statistics when we come back to say this is the impact. But I think the intrinsic values and the motivation and the inspiration that we're going to get and also leave on the ground um, is, is immeasurable. And it, it's, it's, to me, that's what makes it worth uh, being part of this project and working with it.